Hi folks, if you're going to do some 3D machining to machine that fillet, you're going to be better off with a tool path that looks like this, that moves smoothly around the model versus this. And the trick to getting Fusion to ignore this indentation is to create a patch. Let's walk through three different ways we can patch these two troughs. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. So the idea is I want the cam to ignore this area. And one way you could do that, it's not the right way, is if I'm in the model environment and I've selected both of those faces, I can hit delete. And Fusion is pretty amazing at doing some sort of destructive editing that can bring that back to one smooth, smooth full, continuous shape around here. But that's a problem because I don't want to actually modify my three-dimensional part. It creates a lot of other problems for the part, CAD and CAM, and potentially other simulations and so forth. So again, the trick is patch. Three different ways to do it. Let's start with the best way. Create loft. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's select them in the same sort of order, left to right on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Click OK. And so what is patch? Patch is this skin. So it has zero thickness, but we're able to use it in cam to do exactly the task at hand here. I'll show that in a minute. Let's show a different way on this left side. Create, and instead of going to loft, this time we'll just say create patch. This is quicker, but it has some drawbacks. I'll click this left side, the bottom edge, the right side, and then I'll connect them with this edge right here. The problem is that because of the way we selected that, it thinks it's trying to pull in that area right here. And here's the thing, it probably would actually work. I don't think you would get a gouge, but that's not what we want. We want Fusion to create a toolpath that doesn't have additional lines of code or additional points along the toolpath for sweeping inside of here. So let's hit cancel. I'll show you the third way, which I also like as well. Create offset. Now my Fusion seems to have a glitch. I don't know if yours will or not, but I wanna click just this section right here. And when I click that, I right now get this whole body. Toggle chain selection, undo it, and come back. It seems to fix that glitch. So what I've done, offset that single surface or face with zero distance. So I click OK. And what I've created here is a patch or skin that represents that. Again, no thickness. And what I can do is go to Modify, Extend. I can click the edge of that patch and I can drag it all the way over. Let's hide the other patch so you see. Click OK. I do the same on this side here. Create, offset. Modify, extend. And we'd have to do the same. Create, offset. to drag this across to create a top cover, if you will, for that. I mentioned that third way, it's definitely not the best way here, but sometimes you've got to make use of these different patch tools to get the job done. In fact, you can click here to see how we patched uh, some soft jaw fixtures that we were making in a former Wednesday widget. Once we've got our patches made, we can hop into cam. So here I've got the good tool path and I've got the bad tool path. Let me duplicate the bad tool path, and I'll show you how we can fix it to make use of those patches. So in this scallop, I've got to do two things. Under geometry, model, I'm going to add those patches. Now I could click on the patches themselves, but sometimes, especially when you're working with patch type geometry, it's difficult to make sure you've got the right thing selected. So I like to come up, expand my CAD tree, expand your bodies, and I can actually pick them right here, and that confirms I've got the right thing selected. And the way I cammed this part up is we've got touch surfaces selected, so I'm gonna add those faces to the touch surface as well. Click OK, and let's see what we get. Awesome, much better. 
If you're interested in learning more on Fusion 360 or CNC, speeds and feeds, check out the new NYC CNC website. Thanks, folks. Take care.